Hi, Gary from Mr G Shave, back for another Wednesday straight shave. This this will be the last uh, shave on camera uh, until the 20th of August. So, unless I get time on Friday, but I don't think I will. Um, I've got too much to do and too much to sort out. So, um, yeah, so this will be the last shave before I go away. Uh, and it's also part two of the giveaway. Um, so it's a thousand subscriber giveaway, part two. Um, the prize for those of you who watch my straight shaves, you will be able to order from John June a J JJ Shorty razor of your choice with a hardwood scale. This one's got liners in it, I'm not sure that's included, but <clears throat> it's the deal package that I've put together. It's worth about £40. So you'll get one of these with the end of your choice. I've got two to show you. This is probably similar to what you're going to get. This is another JJ Shorty. Look how much shorter that is. Um, so yeah, there's quite a difference here. I'll bring it back here so you can see. There's quite a difference in the size. Um, so yeah, that's a French point. And that's a barber's notch, or that could, I, I'm not sure whether that's a dreadnought or a barber's notch or an English point or whatever. But <clears throat> these, that's, that's the kind of differences you can get. You can decide what you want to get. Um, this is probably more suitable to a beginner than this one. But even so, um, they're great. Um, so that gives you an example of the straight razors. I'll put those over there. And then you will get, if I can show that to camera, let me put my glasses on. <clears throat> a JJ Shaves strop. It's a shorty strop, so it's slightly thinner um, and possibly shorter than most strops, but it's, it's a great strop. I don't know what leather this is, but you can talk to uh, John about which strop you want. <clears throat> But yeah, so it's got a D-ring on one end and a D-ring on other, on the other. So, and it's uh, let's see what it says here. Robert Gallagher, Razor Strops, Scotland. So there you go. So it's made by Bobby, Bobby G. Um, if you know him. <clears throat> so there we are. So that's that's the. Um, the prize for the straight razor followers amongst you, those those that maybe want to start, um, <clears throat> whatever. I mean, you just phone, you know. I'll I'll put his link below in the description uh, for John June. The draw will take take place on the let me think twentieth, twenty first, twenty second, twenty third, twenty fourth of August for this uh, set. So that's one uh, JJ Shorty razor and one JJ Shorty strop. Um, so I think you all know how to enter. It's hashtag Mr G Shave. All in one, no spaces. Yeah, I've noticed a few people have spaced out Mr G Shave with a space in between the Mr and the G and the G and the Shave. That won't actually pick up on the on the filter. So just check how you put it in. Hashtag Mr. G Shave, all no spaces in between. So, <clears throat> and I'll put it up there again now. Um, right, what am I using today? I'm going to use um, the stuff that I'm going to take with me on holiday. So, uh, at least some stuff the razor and the bowl, probably the brush, not sure yet what brush. No, I'll probably take, I'll take, um, I'm not sure where I put it now. There it is. I'll take my Edwin Jagger travel brush, um, so that's it there, uh, and all you do with this, I'm not using this one now, is you unscrew the top, pull that out, screw the ring back on, and then screw that on there. So that's the brush I'll be taking with me for the holidays. <clears throat> so that that gives you an idea. Um, so, as I said, I'm going to take this bowl. I thought, I'm not sure what I said. <clears throat> and it's the Life Venture Ellipse Bowl. This is a brilliant bowl. I, I, it's, 
it's, it's one of the best, one of my favourite bowls to use. It's so easy. That lip there, you just hold it like that and it works perfectly. Uh, I know a few of you bought them based on that recommendation and you're all enjoying them. So the brush is my Yaki Mandarin 22 millimeter. Love this brush. It, the shorter loft make, gives it plenty of backbone. So that's what I'm using today. <clears throat> so with that having been said, I'm, uh, uh, as you can see, I'm already growing the goatee back. <laughs> so I won't be shaving that today. Um, a promise is a promise. I promised you all I'd shave it off at a thousand subscribers and I promised my daughters I'd grow it back straight away. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, I know I've had a, lots of comments, lots and lots of comments, and I really appreciate them saying that, you know, I look younger and this, that and the other. But it, at the end of the day, the most important opinion is that of my two daughters. Um, so unfortunately, they uh, pip you to the post. So I am growing it back. Um, <clears throat> so wait, there you go. Um, and anybody who wants to see me shave off my goatee, they can go back to the last video and watch it. <laughs> because I'm not shaving it off again, <laughs> unless I have to. Uh, right, okay, I'm gonna get myself ready for the shave and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back, all ready for the shave, all lathered up. Get some more agua on the face or on the subject. But yeah, I was really touched by all those comments. I forget how many, but there were a few hundred comments which is brilliant um, you know fantastic response by all so thank you very much thank you to the new subscribers although I noticed that some of you that have entered are not subscribers but um, this is a subscriber only the whole competition the whole giveaway is subscriber only um, so those of you that are not subscribed and have entered you probably won't get entered into the competition unless you hit the subscribe button which is just down here it'll say Mr G Shave um, it's a little orange label there you can click on that and then you'll be subscribed um, so yeah this, this giveaway is only open to subscribers and I do check and I have a way of finding out who's subscribed and who's not so um, yeah if you're not subscribed you won't be entered um, <clears throat> But if you are, you're all done. Yeah, well, if you've entered in the first part one, you can also enter in part two. There's no problem with that, but you can only win one of them. <laughs> so you've got two chances at winning. Um, but yeah, I don't think I told you what the razor was today. So the, the razor that I'm taking with me, let me just dry it off a bit, is my Kismet hair shaper. And the reason I'm taking this is it's easily replaceable if I lose it which I'm highly unlikely to lose it, but I won't mind so much. If I lost the VEC or if I lost, you know, some of my, you know, some, some of the razors that I really like, then, you know, and I like this one. This shaves just like the VEC, um, has a, you know, it's, it's lighter in weight, so it's slightly different, but <clears throat> I do, you know, I, I won't mind losing that because I know I can get another one. But if I took one of my vintage razors along, I, I probably, if I lost that, I probably wouldn't get another one. So, right, the pre-shave is a Roma Bar shave oil, as it always is with my straight shaves. I just like using a pre-shave oil. It doesn't have to be a Roma Bar. It can be any shaving oil or pre-shave oil. Wipe that off on the arms, dry the hands, and today's soap is, need to put my glasses on again, Signature Soaps Hibernia. Now I'm not sure, I think, I, I know I, the last time I used one of theirs was Vectis, I think. So Hibernia I think is a, I haven't used in a while. Uh, this one's Lime, Lemon, Lemongrass, Sweet Orange and Lavender, and it is stunning. Absolutely stunning, really is. Um, loads of citrus in there, love it. And with about a quarter of a teaspoon, this probably needs a bit more water. No, maybe not. Um, 
I get all of that. I mean, look at it. <laughs> Fantastic. I think this is thin enough, but we'll see. I'll just add more water to the face. In fact, I'm going to do that now. So here we go. Yeah, stunning response to that video. I'm glad you all enjoyed seeing me shave my beard off. My daughters refused to watch it. <laughs> Although I think they did sneakily. Got to remember I'm not shaving that area. Yeah, this is plenty thin enough. I tell you, as I've said many times before, signature soaps and Wickham soaps and Goodfellas Smile are some of the slickest soaps I know. <clears throat> um, and they're, you know, probably my favourite soaps. Sterling's another one, but I don't think Sterling is quite as slick as these. So. <clears throat> right, here we go. So you can see the, the goatee's beginning to grow. So spine down, bring the blade down. Perfect. feels great. This feels so good. I am so tempted to shave the goatee area but I think I'd be hung, drawn and quartered if I did. <laughs> okay so here we go. And the advantage with these, with the shavettes, is you can put them in the water. <clears throat> Here we go, that's about the outline of the goatee. So I was quite surprised actually. I mean, I when I saw, after I'd shaved, I, I, I really didn't like it. I must admit, it's not just my daughters that want to grow it back, I want to grow it back. <laughs> um, I did enjoy the shave, but I just didn't like the result. It looked like somebody pushed my chin up into my face. And thanks Sig for sending me a picture of mini me. <laughs> From Austin Powers. <clears throat> that made me chuckle, I must admit. I've had some great comments, really, really good comments. <clears throat> but as I've said in most of, in nearly all of the responses where people have said you look 10 years younger and you should keep shade, you know, keep it off, uh, I've made a promise and I made you guys a promise. Um, so I've got to, I've got to grow it back. So. I've got the grandkids here today, they didn't even notice. <laughs> but I think they've watched the video. <laughs> My super fans. So Imogen, Joshua, cheers. <laughs> and Liam and Ethan, if you watch this, cheers to you too. Those are my four grandchildren. But yeah, yeah, it was met with a fairly negative response. Well, they actually weren't that bad. I mean, my daughters, when they saw it, I think they were surprised. But 
Uh, you still want me to grow it back, and I still want to grow it back. I don't, I don't like it clean shaven. I much prefer the goatee. So. Enjoying this. So across the grain on this side is straight up. realign the beard as well now. Get the line straighter. <sighs> so nice. <clears throat> I'm just going to go straight up here as well. Got a cross on this side. So how's your week been so far? <clears throat> I hope you've uh, all you know got the majority of what you needed to get done this week done. Looking forward to your weekend. I know I am. I can't wait. It's a bit of a trip down. We're staying in a, a static caravan. Um, well, there's actually, we booked three static caravans. I've got my grandchildren coming down, my son and his dog, so he has to go in a pet friendly van. Um, I can't go in a pet friendly van because I'm actually allergic to most dogs, but Freddy, this dog is is hypoallergenic, but I still have to take um, antihistamine tablets because I still get a reaction to him. Um, so I, I'm not sure how true this, you know, story is about dogs being not causing allergic reactions. Um, but to be fair. It's only a mild reaction to him, and it might actually get me used, slowly used to uh, other dogs. Oh yeah, I mean, this is just luxurious lather, and the scent, it's a good five, five out of 10, I would say, really citrusy. Really nice, and you can get the, the lavender in the background as well. That's the thing I really like about signature soaps is you get what you know what's written on the tin. You can usually smell all of them. I mean, the only one that I'm not sure of is is one is the one with frankincense in, because I haven't got a clue what frankincense smells smells like on its own. I'll have to go into one of these health food shops and see if I can get sniff a, a bottle of frankincense if it's possible oh yeah I'm loving this and I've still got all of that left so I'm probably going to do a head shave after this so then it's done I'll do another one on Saturday when I get there or Sunday <clears throat> okay so against the grain
perfect. Look at that line. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing this grow back again. I used to have it, when I first grew it out, I kept it fairly short. I, I trimmed it every week. But then I decided to see what it would look like if I grew it out to, the, to where it was just before I shaved it off. Um, I'll probably keep it a bit shorter than, than it was before. Um, But I won't, I, I won't have it really tight in, um, as some of you have suggested. Oh, that feels great. So good. So good. Jim asked me to shave this with the straight razor. I've made a promise. <laughs> <coughs> so, I wouldn't mind actually giving it a go, but <clears throat> my daughter's downstairs and I think I'd get a slap. <laughs> that feels great. Usual bits there I've got to go for. Not much here at all, little bit, and then down here. <clears throat> so let's do the pickup pass, which is effectively a fourth pass. I'm gonna get this soap off the handle. I mean, I could leave it as it is, quite happily. But you know me, I'm always chasing the BBS. Which I don't ever get, ever get with a straight razor. I've had it once. Down here is nigh on impossible, so. Should have used alum. <clears throat> alum just helps you grip. Perfect. So yeah. I'll be taking some photos and maybe some short videos and things. And I'll probably put a slideshow at the end of my next video or the one after. Depends on whether I have the time to do the shave on the Saturday. <clears throat> and do all the clips and... That'll do. All done. So yeah, I'll put them up at some point. Maybe not on the Saturday video, but um, when I get back. But I'll, I'll let you all know when I'm gonna put up the images. 
um, and there may be clips. Who knows? Um, so that's it. I'm ready to do the clean up, I think. I'll be right back. Right, I'm back, all cleaned up. That feels great. Nice to see the goatee just starting up again. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you will be disappointed, but I'm sorry. Family comes first, and I didn't like it either. So, if I'm honest, I didn't like the look, and I, I still don't. I just It just looks weird. Uh, and I know it takes a while to get used to it, but a promise is a promise, as I've said before. So, <clears throat> right, okay, so I'm going to be using Thayer's Lemon. Well, actually, I'm going to try the Alum, because there was a little bit of sting with um, when I was washing off. I've used a, it's a cold water shave today. I've sort of got into the cold water shave, certainly in the summer, it's, it's just more pleasant. Not much sting. A little bit there, about two, three out of ten. Oh yeah. Nothing, it's a bit like um, pins and needles. That's all it is, mild pins and needles on the face. <clears throat> But that's great. I will be taking this alum down with me. I'm not sure why, because I don't use it much. <clears throat> but let's wipe that off. It's not really, it's stopped stinging now, so it's done its job. I've been asked a few times why, why people use alum. It's just an astringent, it's another astringent. It's actually, it can be used as a, an antiperspirant or deodorant. <clears throat> but it, it just closes the pores and cleans, cleans everything up so there's you know, less likelihood of any kind of infection. Um, right, so we're gonna go for the lemon witch hazel now. Thayer's lemon witch hazel. Probably won't bother taking that bottle down because it will run out while I'm down there. And there's no point in uh, no point in taking two bottles down. They just take up more space. And when space is a premium, then uh, yeah, <clears throat> all seasons after uh, lemon cologne. Again, I probably won't take this down. I'll take a smaller bottle of something. Oh, that's nice. A little bit of burn, not much. I don't know why I'm putting it on my, on my dome. I'm going to shave it now. <clears throat> not on camera, off camera. Um, but yeah. And then Nivea 6-in-1. Active Age, or Act Your Age, as I always say. Give it a bit of a shake and just put two little squirts because I always do. One squirt's probably enough. Oh, that's brilliant. Put it on my dome again, but hey. <clears throat> so that's it, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to um, enter the draw, You've just got to put in the comments below, hashtag Mr. G Shave. You must be subscribed. As I say, I can find out if you're not, um, and you won't be included in the drawer if you're not subscribed. And it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. Just click the subscribe button down there, and you'll be entered. Um, or, or just click, you know, just click the subscribe button underneath the video, and, and if possible, click the notifications bell. And leave a comment. Well, obviously you're going to leave a comment if you're going to try and enter the competition. But I love the comments. Um, I love the banter. You know, absolutely brilliant. Um, the only thing I don't like in the comments are the, the spam comments that come in with links to porn sites and all that kind of stuff. I, I don't see the point in that. I usually get them off straight away. Um, I keep an eye out for them when I post a video up. But if you see one, please feel free to remove it or report it. Um, it's not welcome on my channel so um, so there we are but that's it for now I will see you now when I get back from holiday hopefully with a tan but knowing me probably not
<laughs> so I'll see you then. Bye now.